Hello everyone, my name is LaShawn and welcome back to my channel, Jibu No Life. Today I want to share with you my online income for December 2019 and explain a little bit about how I make income online and how you could do the same thing if you're interested. Okay, so let's get started. So if you look here at my laptop screen, you'll see that I have Amazon.com Associates open. And that is because right now I am primarily getting income through the Amazon Associates affiliate program. And what that is, is whenever you recommend a product that's sold on Amazon to someone and a person purchases that product, you get a small commission uh, depending on whatever their total was. And it doesn't matter if they ordered just that product or if they ordered something completely unrelated. And they might not even purchase that product at all and you'll still get a commission as long as they buy something within a certain time frame. And that time frame varies depending on some of the actions that the person takes. But before I get into all of that, because that's kind of complicated, <laughs> let me tell you a little bit about the Amazon Affiliate Program. So if you scroll down, here, you'll see the join option, and then you can click learn more. And then this tells you a bit about the application process for joining. And basically there are three ways you can become an Amazon affiliate. You can either have a website, mobile app, or through your social media networks, depending on if you have a large enough following. Of these three ways, I think the easiest way to join the program is by having a website because a website is something that you can basically create in one day. It's not good enough to have just the site up, but you do need to have some content on it, which only takes a couple hours to write. So if you look here, it says content on your website must be recent, generally within the last 60 days, you must own your website. So this shouldn't be like uh, some kind of free blog that you've opened up on like wordpress.com or a blogger or Tumblr website. It should be something with your own domain name. And right here, like Amazon doesn't say like how much content you need, but I think generally say if you have like five good, decent articles, chances are you'll get approved for the application process. So then here, if you have an app, it has some requirements that your app must follow that you can read there. And for social networks, it says, we currently only accept the following social networks, Facebook, including open group pages and fan pages, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch TV. Your application must clearly list your account or group. Do not list the social network URL only. Your social network account or group must be established with a substantive number of organic followers slash likes, in many cases, at least 500. It must be publicly available. For example, no closed group pages. So what this means, say, for example, if you have a YouTube channel and you have at least 500 subscribers on your YouTube channel, you could then link that to the Amazon and fill out the application and you'll probably get approved. If your channel is any smaller than that, chances are it's going to get rejected. It's not a 100% chance, but you'll see here it says in most cases, at least 500. So there might be exceptions here or there with someone with a smaller following in. So for me personally, I got accepted through my website. And once you get accepted through any one of these three methods, you can then use the Amazon affiliate program on your other like uh, accounts and whatnot. So I got accepted on my website. And if you look in the description box of my YouTube channel, like below any of my videos, you'll notice I have some links to some of the Jibun Techo products that I own. And I only link products that I personally use and could recommend to other people. So all of the products in the description box are ones that I have and I use on a regular basis. So if someone were to click on one of those links and either purchase one of those products or something else, I would get a commission. And again, it costs them nothing extra. So that just kind of like helps me out. Not to pressure you guys. <laughs> That's one thing you're not allowed to do because it could get you kicked out of the program. You're not allowed to tell people, please click my link and go shopping on Amazon to like, you know, support my family or something like that. Amazon's really picky. They want like people to click over to their website naturally, not because you ask them to. So be careful about that. Okay. So with all of that said, let me actually show you like how much income I made online through the Amazon affiliate program. 
uh, for December 2019. So the first one I'm going to show you is this one here. Okay. This is the Japanese affiliate program site. And as you can see from December 1st, 2019 until December 31st, 2019, I earned roughly 423 yen. That's not a lot. <laughs> so all told, I had 106 clicks, seven items were ordered, seven items were shipped, none of them were returned. So if someone buys something and they return it back to Amazon, then you don't get that money. So that's why they show that amount here. I had a 7% conversion rate. So meaning out of the number of clicks, the people who actually bought something is roughly 7%. And this is how much was spent on like t as total. So 10,595 yen, which is roughly, sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> it's roughly 106 US dollars. So out of those seven orders, roughly 106 US dollars were spent. And from that, I only get 423 yen, which is about $4.23. So as you can see, the commission's very, very small. Yeah, I sold $106 worth of products and I only get like $4 and some change for it. Okay, so that is for Amazon Japan. The next one I'm going to look at is for Amazon US. And there's a big difference because of course in December there's Christmas and Christmas in America is a lot bigger than Japan. So that's why you're gonna see like this huge difference in the amount of money that I'm getting paid. So from December 1st through December 31st on the American affiliate Amazon, I had 228 clicks, 37 items ordered, 36 items shipped, one item was returned. I had a 16.23% conversion rate. All total, people spent $1,232.26 through my affiliate links. Out of that, I only get $54.04. So I wish. I was getting this 1,200 and something, that would be amazing, but I'm not there yet. Basically, I have to build up my following, you know, get more people over to my blog and also getting more people, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel and then that amount will increase. And I'll, I have to note that I won't get this money right away. There is a delay and it's about two months. So this money that you see here, I won't actually get it in my bank account until sometime around the middle of February. So just keep that in mind if you want to get into affiliate marketing, marketing. Okay. And then the last one, it's another small one. This is for the Amazon UK website. And you can see I had 26 clicks, five items ordered and four items shipped. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. Hmm, maybe someone ended up not paying. I don't know. Zero items returned and a 19.23 conversion rate. All total, they spent around 30.37 pounds. I hope I said that right. I'm sorry if I did not. And I earned one pound 22. Yeah, because this amount is so low, um, I haven't reached like the threshold to actually be paid for it yet. So it's going to take a couple months. I think I have to reach at least 50 pounds in order for Amazon to wire that money to my bank account. And there are a couple of methods you could get paid. It could be through a bank wire, in which case there's like a limit that you have to reach, or you could get paid through an Amazon gift card where the limit is much, much lower. I think it might be something like $5 or something. I'm not even sure. So if you want the money right away, if you just plan on spending it on Amazon anyway, then you could get the gift card and then that'll be really quick. You'll probably get it. Uh, you'll still get it two months later, but if it's a small amount, you'll get it for sure. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is my Google AdSense. So just a quick note, this Google AdSense is not based on this YouTube channel because I'm not monetized on this channel. As you can see, I only have like 76 subscribers, but if you have a Google AdSense account for your website, you can get approved and use that same Google AdSense 
for your YouTube channel when it does get monetized so you don't have to wait for approval. You could just switch over right away. And for this account, it's in Japanese yen. So you can see I have roughly 2,322 yen, which is about 23 US dollars. And the nice thing about the AdSense program in Japan is that the threshold is about 8,000 yen, so 80 bucks. So after I make $80, I can transfer this money to my bank account. Whereas for the US AdSense, I think it's $100. So it's $20 more that you have to reach before uh, Google will send this money to you. So yeah, I have already been approved for Google AdSense through my site. I hope I can get approved for it through YouTube as well. That's one of my goals for 2020. And so let's see, I want to add all of that up. Okay, so here's my calculator. So it's at 2322. Well, here, I'm going to do this in US dollars, $23.22. It's not an exact exchange rate, but just to give you an idea, plus 122 to 122 plus, uh, let's see, $54.04 plus. $4 and 23 cents. And I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Okay, so my grand total for that is $82.71 in my December 2019 affiliate income. So it's not bad. <laughs> I wish it were more, but it's something, you know, like it helps me pay the bills. But yeah. Um, I will try to do like these income reports just once a month, not too frequently because I only get paid once a month from them. But if you have any questions about, you know, affiliate marketing, how to make affiliate income, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you. So now that you have an idea of how much online income I make, I was trying to think of ways that I could log it here in my planner and like keep track of it. And so... For anyone who doesn't know, I use the Jibun Techo 2020, and inside of the Jibun Techo, there is a money plan section, which I'm going to go to now. And the problem with this section is that it's really kind of rigid um, because they already have some of the boxes here filled in with what they think you should keep track of here in Japanese. And what I want to do is actually cover these up and use these sections to track all of my income streams. So instead of my money plan, it's going to be my uh, like online income streams, something like that. <laughs> I need to like figure out like a good label to create for it. So what I'm going to try right now, and this might turn out horribly, is I'm going to white out these sections and then I'm going to fill them in with pen and write down all of my current Amazon income numbers. So this whiteout is like, I don't know if you can see, it's the correction tape and it's kind of cheap, so it doesn't work that smoothly. I'm praying it will go on okay right now. If not, I'm gonna buy some labels tomorrow to cover this up. Moment of truth and it's okay, that's not bad. How does that look on camera? Yeah, I like it. Okay, let's try the next one. All right, that turned out well. That was close and almost tore. The next one. All right, that one's okay too. And one more. All right, and eventually I'm going to change this as well because it says something about fixed expenses. Like if you can't read Japanese, it probably doesn't bother you and you could just leave it on, but I think I'll just put some washi tape there. Let's see. Okay. So I have my three accounts on Amazon plus my AdSense. So I'm going to need at least four of these spaces. So let's see if I can write this small enough. So Amazon. US. Amazon. Japan. And I'm putting these in the order that they 
tend to earn money. So I usually make the most from the Amazon US website. So I'm going to list that first. And then Amazon Japan is usually second. And then UK is usually the lowest. Amazon UK. And then here I'm going to put AdSense. Uh, this is messing up just a little bit. I should have pressed it down more. I think we're safe. I'm not going to touch it. I need to let the ink dry. The problem is the money that I just showed you, I'm not actually going to get until February. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, I'm going to wait until the end of January. And I'm going to write here how much I earned in January, even though I won't actually receive that money until March. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to leave this as is for now. But as you can see, I do have one, two, three, four, five, five more boxes that I can fill in. So one of my goals is to come up with five more income streams. I need to do some more research. But yeah, that's how I plan to like incorporate my planner, my Jibun Techo, into my online income reports and affiliate marketing. Let me know what you think. Okay. All right. So like I said before, I'm going to try and make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We'll see how that goes. So keep a lookout for that. And if you have any questions regarding planning or affiliate marketing or just anything about Japan in general, ask them in a comment below and I'll get back to you for sure. All right. See you next time. Bye.